In the world of aftermarket performance, there's a big difference between cheaply made counterfeits and the quality of the real deal. We've come to Vista California-based HRE wheels to see firsthand the construction of a forged performance wheel. Although an ALMS Lamborghini project lies in the wait for the new year, every wheel that leaves HRE, right down to the street stuff, starts out like this. A raw chunk of 6061 aluminum. From there, the forging is heat treated and drawn out into an almost recognizable shape. HRE's multi-piece wheels use separate faces that endure much of the same process. And it all starts here, with machines. Since every wheel that HRE produces is, in essence, custom, computer-controlled machining is necessary. Monoblock and wheel bodies are placed inside this machine, which shapes the inside and outside structure of the wheel. Halfway through the machining process, it's easy to see the difference between a raw forging and a wheel taking shape. By the time they are finished and shipped to customers, HRE wheels stand to lose almost 80% of their mass as they are machined into their final shapes. With the one-piece monoblock wheels ready and machined on the outside, it's now time to carve out the distinctive face design that makes each wheel different from the other. Separate computer programs are required for each wheel design, which themselves balance strength, load distribution, looks, and brake clearance. For the multi-piece wheels, even more steps are required to take care of all the pieces. After machining the raw forgings from dumbbell lookalikes to aluminum discs, it's time for even more tooling. CNC machine programs are created for each multi-piece wheel face design, which requires the forging to be flipped and run twice to reach the front and back side. After machining, every piece of shaped and pocketed aluminum is taken in for polishing and finishing. Done by hand, the finishing is just the first step before the wheels must pass three stages of cleaning and quality control checkpoints. If a wheel is deemed up to HRV standards, it's brought in for powder coating and final assembly. From here, it's up to the customer where the wheel ends up. But with Ford's strength and low weight, we can only hope it's somewhere fast.